part of my red car hard shirt series of videos <laughs> you'll notice I make videos and I'll make like 10 videos and I'm wearing the same shirt and then next batch I'll be wearing a blue car I, I bought car hard shirts because they're they're good quality I should be sponsored by this company because I wear so many of their shirts I even kill I, I rip a hole in the back one burned holes and I'm buying more I don't like their pants because they don't fit right but I like the shirts because they fit right you got to watch when you buy these shirts because if you buy the the relaxed fit is different than the regular fit and I like baggy clothes I don't like I mean mind you it's you know this one's not too I have another Carhartt shirt on underneath here see Carhartt see Carhartt it's a little nippy out <coughs> this is my winter coat so yeah anyway enough with the Carhartt um I've been just been sitting here doing a couple of videos. I'm not doing anything tonight. Plus, I'm going home, be tired, and my wife's going for the border shopping. So I want to get back early so I get sleep. This video, <clears throat> I I bought my wife a JBL USB speaker, and I was doing some work in a crawl space, which is literally up to my eyeballs. So it's not really a crawl space; it's more like a standing, and it's kind of like a bend, kind of bend your neck space. You got a sore back. <coughs> Cleaning it out, and I need music. So what did I do when I went to go get some more reciprocate? Did I buy reciprocator blades? I went to buy something. Was it reciprocator? I don't know. I think I bought reciprocator blades or something else. I went there to buy a. Wait, I don't know what it was. What was it was it. Oh no, it was a pair. Of, that's what it was. It was a pair of rubber gloves. My hands get wet because I was digging and taking styrofoam that fell off the wall because the basement flooded. So anyway, bought some gloves, and I'm like, you know what, let me check to see how much one of these uh, little radios, construction radios. Because I don't know what I did with my old one. I think I gave it to my cousin. I have the old 18-volt charger radio. Works good. So I bought one of these little bad boys. This is a DCR010 Bluetooth speaker, <clears throat> which basically comes like that. You got the back, and it comes with a plug you can't use it as a charger would have made sense just put the plug on the side and use the charger but they want you to buy a charger or a radio that's charging the time what's my opinion my wife has a beautifully sounding jbl this one's pretty damn good i can't test it right now because youtube will probably copyright my ass for playing music on it goes pretty loud easy to connect boom 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 done great <clears throat> Seems like a nice little rugged toy. I haven't seen what this is. Oh, there's, I didn't even notice on the side here. There's a, comes with a auxiliary port and a USB thing. So I don't know if it does charges. I probably should read the instructions. I should probably watch someone else's review to find out if this is USB input or output or whatever. <laughs> 12 volt, 20 volt. So... <clears throat> so if I buy a 12 volt battery for my, what is it? Where is that thing? Where did I put it? Where did you drop it? Where did it go? Come on, come on. Where did you go? Well, anyway, if I, where did it go? I have a 12 volt. If you want light, it was just here. Unless when it, unless I intertwined to another dimension and it disappeared. <clears throat> so anyway. Where the hell did it go? I was just here. Oh, weird. So anyway, it runs on 12 or 18 volt. Or no, 12 or... 12 volt or 22 volt. It's really it's really nice and compact. And I honestly think it's a pretty cool design. Like, maybe I should make them different colors. And I guess you can mount it. You have a portable radio and you could mount it to a wall. Like, uh, hello. Maybe they should have put a coffee warmer or something on it. But yeah, pretty good tool. It was a hundred and <clears throat> it was a hundred and uh, I think ten bucks. Yeah, I spent one hundred ten dollars on another device that produces music. Did I have money for it? No, I put it on my um, <clears throat> my what do you call it Visa debit card. So now my account's in negative, and right now I'm being charged I think five dollars a day because it's over until. I don't know, I think like the, the first. So I got to go back next week, put some more money in my account. Too much information, <clears throat> but banks suck. But they're good for cashing checks and borrowing your money and buying shit. 
So overall, I was playing the, uh, if you go on uh, your phone, download an app called Triode. It's an internet radio. I now have um, unlimited internet access. And if you like the stuff I like, you go to, you upload tri Triode and you look for a channel called Metallica. You do a search for Metallica and there's a Metallica and Iron, uh, an all Metallica and Iron Maiden channel. And that's what I was listening to while working. There's also 181. FM, which has a 90s old school metal channel, and then there's Big R Radio, 80s metal FM. That's what I was know. Never mind all this opera crap. No, no Christmas music, just metal, metal, metal. Yeah. So yeah, like, subscribe. If you're a subscriber number anything over 752, if you're awesome. If I've gotten to a thousand subscribers by now, you're all awesome, no matter what. And thanks for watching, and thanks for helping the small guy. Thanks for watching. Toodles.